Um, so I've just thought I'd do a bit of a tour of my current I guess, south base. So it's, I probably mentioned in a previous video, if you've seen it, that it's a PVE kind of build. Um, and this is just the south base I'll be showing you. Um, I'll talk a little bit about how I did some of the building things. I'll probably do other videos that actually explicitly kind of show you how to do it um, from scratch. But it, for this one, I'm just going to show you around, talk a bit about some of the mods that I've got and just talk about how I did some of the things that I did, some of the aesthetic sort of build styles. So probably start down here, the pen. Um, so this pen's built using the Structures Plus uh, mod. So I use what's called the fence supports, if you've ever used these before, they're pretty handy. So they just clip into the side and they can line up with actual foundations. And what that means is that even if the ground kind of moves, you still get this really nice kind of flush uh, fence line. And obviously if you want, you can go higher or lower. For instance, I've chosen to go at different levels here. All right, little tip for you. I'm gonna bring up R dot bloom quality zero. Bring that down. What's my camera at? Oh, it's still too high. Okay. So this was just meant to be kind of like a stable sort of area. So I've got my horses in here. Um, so what I've really done is I've built this with the Structures Plus foundations and then I've put the um, thatch ceilings over the top. So I'll just use the demo gun quickly to show you what I mean. So it's just stone foundation down there. I'll put this back. And this is honestly just for aesthetics. It's just to make it look kind of you know, a bit like a barn, so you got some hay. Um, the having the sheep wander around again, that's really just for aesthetics to make it look like they're actually in a herd. I've got my wolf over here, he's on neutral. So that means if we get something like a Pegamastax or a Dilo, something spawning in here, like they shouldn't, but Structures Plus have got a known kind of bug sometimes that you fly out around a range and wild things just spawn uh, near the Structures Plus icons. Hopefully that gets fixed soon, but at the moment it isn't. Um, in terms of this build, you'll see that um, I've used a lot of slope kind of areas. Um, this bit here, where I've got the wood on the outer side, that again is just for aesthetics. It's because I kind of, I like the look of that kind of wood. Um, so it's probably easy to see on this side. Come around here. So again, it's just, these are just pillars that I put down with Structures Plus. If you want to do this in vanilla, it is possible, but you must put the pillars down first. If you try to put the pillars down on top of it with vanilla structures, so non-modded structures, it won't work. Structures Plus, it's not the same thing. Structures Plus, you can just put it down however you want and it works. Um, but what I was saying before about the textures, so you've got the outer wood texture here, which I've used, but then up the top there, you can see the different wood texture. The way you do that is when you place the item, you then hit E to make it go back to front. I'll see if I've got it here to show you. I've got no corner pieces, but it's easy to make them, so I'll just make them. Okay, so let's say I want to do a corner piece and I want to put it up here for some reason. Okay, so I put it up here. Well, let's do it here, actually. Let's go there. And if I put it there, it's going to be one facing one way. Let's pick it up. But if I put it up there again and I hit E, it's going to go the up direction. The thing you've got to be aware of, the fact that you're hitting E, it means it's going to be on a different line. So if I tried to match that up with another one that's the outer facing wood, it won't line up and it will look odd. Um, it won't go flush. So at the moment you can see up there, they're kind of flush with each other. There's nice, like they blend in nicely. Um, if I didn't do that correctly or if it was on a different clip, um, if it was clipping to a different location, it wouldn't do that. Uh, another thing to be aware of is you can't actually have walls clip to the base of sloped ceilings. So what you need to do, if you would like to do that, is you've got to have a flat ceiling down underneath your um, tilted roofs, underneath your sloped roofs, anytime you want to do that and then it will work. Um, the other thing I've got, one of the reasons I've got these thatch ceilings just going flat along here, it's so that the roof can actually clip to it and also to hide the join. So what I was saying before over here, that when you press E and they don't clip smoothly, what that means is, I might actually do a bit, a bit of a cheat here just so I can show you. If I come up here, if I didn't have that uh, horizontal ceiling inside the building, 
basically you'd see this really ugly kind of line. I'll show you what I mean. So I'll delete. Yes, I know I'm doing fly. I'll just delete this and show you what I mean. So if I didn't have that, when you come out here, you get this sort of gap and, you know, it might not tick some people off, but for people like me with a minor OCD, it is a bit irritating. So you put the thing back on and then come back out here and fixed. And again, yes, I know I'm using fly, but it's just for the purposes of showing you for this video. But yeah, so if you do that, it makes it look a bit more realistic and it hides those kind of ugly lines that you get and the big spaces that you get when you try to do this little aesthetic kind of cheat. Um, these here come with the big storage options mod that I've got, or big storage boxes, I can't remember what it's actually called, but it basically makes them look, um, your base look a little bit more, I guess, realistic if you really want to go for a bit of role playing things. So they've got, you know, there's the wood pile, um, you know, thatch, fibre, there's big barrels for oil, all sorts of things. If I fly over to my other base, you can see what I mean, but I'm just going to stay here for this video. Um, Again, it's completely for aesthetics. I don't think I've even got anything in here. No, I don't. It's just for complete aesthetics. Whereas if I actually want to do stuff, I just put them straight in my smithy um, as soon as I harvest it, just to put it away. Plus there's the pool options. So there's no point having it there. If I want to have something, let's say I want to have, I don't know, there's going to be heaps. There's going to be heaps of that in the forge and the generators and stuff. So I can just pull whatever I want to pull. Okay. Um, I'll just close this so my wandering guys don't go away. So that's really it for up here. I've got my harvesters, some harvesters up here. I've never really used him. I just sort of tamed him because I could. But uh, two beavers here, so they're awesome for wood. If you aren't familiar with beavers, when you tame them, just be really careful with their torpor does drop very fast. So when you knock one out, just be prepared to have narcotics on standby and to be watching the torpor because they'll wake up pretty quick. So when you've got these guys, the other thing to be aware of is their saddle is like a walking smithy. So they're pretty handy to have if you can get them early game, if, or if you're on too low level, to, if you've got a happy neighbor who's generous enough to make you a saddle, these guys are pretty handy to have. The other good thing about them is when they, unless this has changed, um, when they have wood in their inventory, so when you harvest with them, they're mostly gonna harvest wood and then a little bit of thatch but they actually, the wood doesn't weigh as much on them. So you can go around harvesting heaps of wood and it will technically weigh less than if it was on you. So they're pretty handy to have, especially if you're relatively low to mid game and you're mostly building your base out of wood or otherwise require a fair bit of wood. So even if you're doing it with stone, these guys combined with a doed are pretty handy. Um, the other thing that I've got here, so these, if you've got the time to invest in taming them, are also pretty awesome. So there's C, I'll harvest. <laughs> I just hit that wild oviraptor. But C, I'll chomp the uh, berries and I'll pick up the bush. Um, they've got a left and a right click attack. So left click, power attack, right click, tickle tickle attack. Um, tickle attack will get the fiber. I'll probably show that on. Uh, so yeah, you'll see that it would have got the fibre. Actually, there's another one over here. So get the fibre from that. So it just gets fibre, whereas the left power attack will get, like, wood thatch from um, trees and things. Their attack is also pretty high, considering it's just one dino. Like, I could take this thing out and quite easily kill a Rex um, quite happily. Their attack is pretty nuts. However, even on a high tame server, like, I think it was five times tame... Um, the one that I was using on the playarc.com.au server. Even with that uh, 145 and a 150 tames that we had as a breeding pair on the center map, that was easily a four hour tame, like just sitting there. And because their torpor drops, you can't really leave it. You've got to keep checking on it every 15 minutes or so. So it's a bit of an investment if you actually want to tame one of these things. And as we learned the hard way, regardless if it's you or a tribe mate, if you are taming one of these things in base, like in a taming, um, what's it called, a taming pen, make sure your taming pen's locked up because if it does accidentally wake up and no one's around to check it, it will destroy any of the dinos that you've got in your base that are pretty much within aggro range of it. If you do have one of these things early to mid game though, it's pretty handy. Um, I can't remember what the saddle level is, but if you're too low level, hopefully there'll be like someone on the server who can loan you one, or at least if you supply the mats, make it for you, because they are pretty handy to have. They're rather all-rounded, um, good for attack, good for defense. But again, the 
con is the time it takes to actually you know tame one up is pretty nuts so I recommend if you are going to do it I, I was basically multitasking so while I had this thing taming for the four hours I was actually doing work AFK and just had the game open and checked it every now and then to make sure it didn't wake up so that was my one of my afternoons where I just did some actual work while I had this open, had this game open and just checking it didn't wake up and kill everything. Uh, it's now night time, but yes, yeah, so this is mostly this area. Uh, these lights come with the advanced rafts mod that I use. Um, I'll quickly show you a bit of the advanced rafts. So if I come into the house, I've got some music playing. So just to show you some of the things you can build in this, I have only had a little bit of a play around with the actual ships you can give. I mean, I can see from all the mod, uh, sorry, the items that are here, you can, if you wanted to, this combined with Structures Plus would be really handy to make actual boats and you could make all sorts of things. There's a lot of freedom here. So you've got, um, you know, a lot of things for the ships, and a lot of things for aesthetics as well. So. Um, for instance, as you can see here, round tables, there's a galley bar if you want to make a pub or something like that. I've used a lot of these lights, really super handy, especially since they don't require any fuel or anything, so you don't need to make a lot of spark powder or something or have electricity on standby to keep them working. I know that's not that realistic, but I guess, especially for playing solo, if you want to have lights and make the place look pretty, it's handy. So I really do like these. The chandelier is pretty cool as well. See what else there is. So you've got uh, these different raft sizes. I've put this down. I've had to play with this one and some of these ships. The only thing is, like I said, you can't actually, you know, edit the ships. You can put some things on it, like you can put boxes and seats and things, so you can take them out uh, fishing and stuff like that. But that's really all you can do with them. You can't actually edit them. Um, you've got here egg incubator. This bed's pretty cool got chairs, various different tables, stools, so you can make all sorts of things. You can decorate houses, decorate pubs, things like that. If you're playing on a PvE server, I mean, the handy thing is, considering it's PvE, you, instead of having, you know, two to three hundred turrets around your base, you might have an extra maybe twenty to thirty of these items, or fifty, depends if you're using lights and stuff, um, to kind of decorate the base a little bit. So, just come through. That, I'm pretty sure, is from the pubs mod that I've got. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. This comes from the Cookings Plus mod, so you can make trail mix out of it. So I put a bunch of seeds and things. You can can your veggies. Never really used it to be honest, so if I uninstalled this mod I wouldn't really be too sad to see it go. Um, pub mob mod, same thing. Like I think at this point in time I could very happily uninstall the pub mod and the Cooking Plus mod because I don't really use them. Like I said, the amount of things that you saw in here from Advanced Rafts, this alone has a lot of stuff that the pub mod already has. If I come through here, so yeah, piano guys, piano. This comes from the, uh, it's not pub mod, the Advanced Rafts mod and it acts as a bit of a storage box so you can put some things in here and it comes with a hammock. Advanced Raft also comes with hammock. I haven't actually tried to put this up yet. Yeah, so come on, that's <laughs> hammock guys. You can have a hammock. So I'll put this back. Um, if I go upstairs, I can show you. So again, this is all Advanced Rafts mod. Advanced Rafts mod all comes through here. That's in the vanilla game. It's just in the fireplace. Uh, if you come up here, these are the upgrade stations. So the way these things essentially work, if you put something in just the main upgrade station, you can uh, separate it for parts. So I think that was a ghillie hat. I think I was testing it out, ghillie helmet. I was testing it out and I broke that. So if you put something in here, you can um, salvage the parts. So handy if you've gone to a drop and you've picked up a bunch of stuff that you don't actually really want. You can put it in here and salvage the parts. Up here, on the other hand, you can put things in like a master crafted gun or ascendant gun, which is what I did. So I put in one of the guns I found and I, you know, broke it apart and got the blueprint for it. Probably should go to my other base. I've got a whole bunch of other stuff in there I could bring over here and make the blueprints for. Um, in here, bedroom. So again, I've got the one-way mirror here, a one-way window. So this is Structures Plus. I've shown another video how to do that if you don't already know. So I can see through this way, can't that way. Very handy if you don't want to be having people spy on you. Same thing with these windows. Viewing from the outside, you can't see into the bedroom. Whereas if I'm in the bedroom, I can look out through the windows. 
So this also comes with the advanced rafts mod, so you get the different types of beds. This is the nice looking bed. There's also a normal kind of looking bed you can put in just a normal room if you want, as well as just having the ordinary vanilla, you know, <laughs> thing with bits of hide on it. Up here is the chandelier. Now the chandelier you can't actually put on sloped roofs, it'll just go from one way or the other. So a way to cheat that, and just in general the way I sort of build kind of get away around some of Ark's little building quirks is with structures plus the handy thing about having these glass ceilings is if I wanted to I can make them completely no frames. So So, if I right click, no, sorry. sorry, okay, so left click, sorry, if I say no sides, it, see how the sides completely disappear, so if I want to have something attached to a ceiling, or if I want to have these sloped um, ceilings attached to walls, which actually can't happen in the vanilla game, but you can kind of get around that by putting these ceilings up and hiding the fact that they're actually there, that way it looks like the sloped ceiling bits are attaching to the wall but in fact they're actually not. Um, so for this though I've made sure I've kept the sides up just so that you can, it looks like the chandelier is actually hanging from something. So I've done a bit more of that in the, um, the barn which I'll show you in just a sec. So yeah that's the inside of the house using a lot of um, little tricks up here. I'm just trying to ignore that window where you can see that I've had to press E to make the slope to be kind of look out. Sometimes arc being arc doesn't always cooperate with you so you can see over here that I couldn't really patch this hole very well at all. Yeah, you can't really patch the hole at all it's sort of still a bit exposed but it doesn't really matter. Up here um, this is another example of where I've used the um, ceilings the glass ceilings to kind of get the illusion that something is being supported up here so you can't actually see it. Can you sort of see where it says S plus glass ceiling? So that's because these things are sitting here so that these can actually work. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to put um, these left and right um, sloped walls here to actually make this bit. They would just wouldn't clip because technically if you have a look it looks like they're sitting on nothing. So that wouldn't work if I didn't have these glass ceilings here and all I did was made it so that they're tra uh, transparent so you can't see them. So again if I put the sides on you can see where they are. So they're just hidden just as a bit of a trick um, to be able to build these sloped ceilings the way I want them to. Now here, this bit is just an upside down triangle bit um, to sort of patch the hole. So that's the main house. If I come out, go greenhouse. So the way the greenhouse is built is I wanted to have a specific look to it. So I've got these kind of pointed bits coming out. It's kind of hard to see up the top. I really should lock these snails up. So here, pointed bits here. Probably not the best time to show you at night time, but oh well. Um, essentially this is just you muck around with the triangle pieces and the um, square pieces. So it's one, you go up with the squares and then on the outer side you go up with triangles. And then the triangles over here, hopefully you can sort of see the lines of where the triangles are. So you've got to remember these are equilateral triangles, they're not right angles. So some people might have an issue if they just try and stick one on the end to join between two L-shaped square pieces and if you try and do that because they're not 90 degrees they're not actually going to fit in nicely so if you want to actually make this work you're going to have to go up with all the triangles and then it comes around and that way I was able to get this nice little pointed kind of look going on up here. Um, it did however mean that the thing's a bit off but it doesn't really matter because I could use a second square so there's two squares here two square pieces but it's technically one and a half squares wide but because it's structures plus they clip in quite happily and it, you can't really even see it. Um, the only thing is the roof was a little bit dicky to try and build but again it still worked out quite nicely so if you go up here it's just a little bit fiddly like it did work in the end you do have this little bit of an overlap thing happening here but it completely covers up and you just get this kind of interesting sort of look to it just because I wanted to experiment with a different shaped greenhouse I didn't want to go with the old you know either circle or square greenhouse 
So the egg barn I've got over here, it's still not quite finished. So for instance, I've got the dodo farm. It was going to be dodos and dilos in here. I was going to build like a smaller area, but now it's just going to have, it's just got the dimetrodon. There are three dodos here, a couple of turtles for eggs. Um, but if I go into the main area, so again, this was mostly built for aesthetics. Um, I haven't got around to shutting all these windows off, so if I get too close, they'll auto open. Oh, or not. They were auto opening before. That's good. Um, yeah, so this entire roof section, you can sort of see that the top window parts are kind of, they look like they're floating. And again, it's because I've done the glass ceiling kind of cheat. Because, like I mentioned before, you can't actually build up from slow, uh, sloped ceiling. So this thatch sloped ceiling bit, there's no way I would have been able to get those windows to clip to that. It just, you, there's no way that you can actually do it. So the way that I did it, again, I'll do a bit of a cheat. So you, just for the purpose of the video, if I fly up, eventually I'm going to hit where it, you see how it says glass ceiling, same thing. So what I've got is I've got actually all of this is in fact glass ceilings. They're all glass ceilings. If I come down and I get the gun out, whoops, and I go four sides, again, you can see. So just picture all of that is just glass ceilings and I've got the wall mounted to it. Again, it does have the same issue that because it's mounted to something that you technically can't see, it means it looks fine if I was at, you know, that high. But if I'm back on the ground, which is where I normally am, if I try to look up, you can see the fact that there's no join. But unfortunately, because this is a workaround, you're just going to have to deal with that. Overall, I think it looks pretty cool. The other thing is, unfortunately, in Structures Plus, there is no triangle pieces for thatch. So to kind of get away with that, um, so you've got the scaffolded, I've just used this for a bit of scaffolding, and to hide the joins that I mentioned before that happened on my other barn over there. Um, so I've got the scaffolding, which is what I used originally to build this. So I was using the RG to help me build this. Uh, if I come back out and grab the RG again, Oh, where is he gone? Actually, I think I was using him over here. Oh no, I used him in the barn, that's right. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've seen a bit of this and I'm just forgetting where I've put things. So, I'll grab this guy and just show you the roof a bit more. So again, this is completely for aesthetics. There is no purpose to this top section except to make it look just that little bit more interesting. Again, these lights come from the Advanced Drafts mod. So from up here you can't see, unless you get right in there, you can't really see the gap. And it's really just for looks. Now, the way I did over here, so you can see I've got four ceiling tiles here that thatch. But like I said, there's no triangle thatch parts. I really wish that there would be because, you know, if you can do triangles for everything else, why not for thatch? It just, especially since people who build in PvE and for looks, it looks like a thatch roof. Um, so I'll just quickly show you how I've done this in case you can't see. So I've just got parchment colouring to try to blend it a bit with the thatch. But I'll just bring this out to kind of show you how the triangles work. So you're not going to have any luck if you... Um, yeah, you're not going to have any luck if you have just one triangle. You're going to have to do the triangles. So if I spray one... That's how I've done it. I hope you can see it. So it's actually three triangles that make up this wall. You've got two going up, one going down. And then over here, it's the exact same thing. Two going up, two going up, one going down. Same thing over here. And then for the part in the middle here, exactly the same thing. It's two going down, one going up. So that's how you actually get this corner piece. That's assuming you've got two flat bits going wide here. Okay. It, sort of takes a little bit of playing around if you're not familiar with these sorts of shapes but it's good fun especially in structures plus um, if anyone's interested well just while I got the paint gun out the way you use the paint gun it's point and click super handy hold down left click or just tap left click to actually paint now you hold right click hold that down and use the numpad to select the areas so normally if you were doing this manually it would have like area one two three four five six and that might be for like the front of the thing the slats or the back or just different parts whereas at least this way that way you can run along and have everything set to the regions that you want and just it's just makes painting hell of a lot easier than the old way which is you used to have to go up to each individual piece 
hold it down and build it that way. So yeah, that's essentially the rundown of the main parts of the base I use. The last bit is the Rex Giga Breeding Pen, but since we've had major issues with breeding, we haven't really done much. There's another breeding escapade going on over there that my other half is trying to do, but because of the breeding issues and glitches, he's just kind of given up, and I don't really blame him, to be honest, because the kind of glitches that we're seeing are you normally what you would do, if you're doing it solo, you would put two, a male and a female, close together, you'd stand close so that you can access both inventories, you'd have one finger on E to access the inventories, and one on U, and what you would do is you'd walk up, hold down E, you go to enable wandering, click that, and then start spamming U. So what I mean by U is you just keep pressing U. And you'll remember from the intro video I said that U basically means, or well, the intro video that I've done, U means that it, you know, they stop wandering. And in theory they should not be wandering around while you spam U. And that means you can set both to wander, spam U, and they'll start mating. The main problem we're finding is that that's not working. So we're spamming you, but they keep walking around anyway. And if they walk um, out of range of each other, they're not going to breed and the mating timer just stops and starts all over again. So it's incredibly frustrating. Other glitches we've found have been, if we do get an egg laid, we were finding they were disappearing. Now, in some cases, it was happening because we had the egg and poop collector on, which was a really dirt moment for us because it was just going into the egg and poop collector. But I've now tried it where the egg and poop collector is nowhere near it and turned off and they still occasionally delete or just disappear. And I've pressed K, I've d done ghost mode to go under the map. It's not under the map. Other issues we've seen is if that succeeds and the egg is hatched, sometimes the babies just completely disappear. In some cases, we actually get a baby, like this one actually did make it to adulthood. Um, but I think one of the reasons that it did is we've got the, um, we've got the way, uh, it's, speed, it's sped up by about 500, so it grows super, super quick. Because another issue was that the babies weren't eating, and therefore they were starving because they, you know, they use a lot of energy really, really quick. Whereas if you, if I have it being set to 500 it means they were growing up at 500 times speed it was growing up before it could starve which was a good thing but that's not optimal considering it kind of ruins a bit of the experience doing it that way but yeah so this is the main um, egg chamber breeding building I've got that hope I'm hoping to actually use for breeding when they can fix a lot of those bugs um, this is one of the tech um, uh, teleporters I've had for ease and just convenience sake, I have done a bit of a cheat to put a lot of element shards in it to make it work. The same as the generator, I've cheated to put element in that because, you know, this is my single player. I do just want to muck around and I don't want to be farming heaps. And the whole purpose of the teleporter pads is if I want to go to the snow, I can teleport to the snow. If I want to be lazy and just head over to that base, I can head over to that base. So the idea is to have one of these teleporters, one in the snow biome with the snow lodge, one at the redwood for the redwood lake um, base that I've got, another one at the swamp. So there's just scattered around the map. So if I decide to go out, I find something cool, I tame it. It's not a very long walk to bring it back here or to any of the other bases that I've got built up. Um, another thing for here is the elevator. Structures Plus has got an awesome elevator system which I'll go through in further detail of how to actually build it but essentially it's clips so much nicer than the vanilla one so if you want it to work um, so let's say I want to elevate you can actually put floors in so I can press number one and I think I was going too much so I press one and it should go to this floor which I've put down as marker one and it stops if I didn't press one it would just go straight to the top so I've got my bird level up here but let's say I want to go to the top floor, I'm going to press 2 and it goes, carries me all the way to the top floor. If I pressed 0, it would have gone back down to the bottom floor. So again, it's pretty handy. Come up here. Again, I can show you how, you, how I did these um, medical crosses, I guess, with the Structures Plus. It's pretty easy. It's just setting the model indicator. Now, if this elevator wasn't up here, let's say it was all the way down the bottom and I just landed with the quets. The thing is, if you want to use the um, elevator, you do have to actually access the back bit, which is why I've got this kind of path here. So if I want to bring it back up, I just got to go here and press it. 
and then I just wait for it to come up. So here it comes. And same thing, once you get on it, you can press 0, 1 or 2, depending what floor you want to get onto. The way you select the floor is when you're building it, you've got to actually hold down. So if I hold down here, I can actually say add stop, which I'm not going to do because I've already done it, and it adds it as a stop. So you've got to do it from the thing, uh, the pillar that is just below the level that you want it to be at, so this. So I'm going to look down, I'm going to press 0 this time, and it should bring me all the way down to ground floor. Um, if you can see me turning the HUDs on and off, the way you do that is just backspace. At least on my keyboard, that's how you do it. Okay. So that's the main just areas of my base. It's probably going to get bigger. Um, I really just log on here if I just want to have a little bit of a muck around, to be honest. Got my taming pens over here. Drop things in if I find anything interesting. So yeah, hope it's been a little bit interesting for you. I guess I'm personally interested in seeing other people's bases and just seeing what other people come up with because it's, you know, not me. So yeah, I just hope this is kind of informative for you and you took something out of it. So it wasn't catcher.